welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. Today, we have the brand new NECA toys from their Eastman and Laird's TMNT Mirage Comics toy line, the evil maniacal scientist, Baxter Stockman, the man who would never be a fly in this version, but did create the Mousers. Now, there's gorgeous artwork, original artwork from Kevin Eastman all over the box. And on the back side, you get to see Baxter Stockman interacting with all the various accessories in the box. And I cannot wait to get that Rat King. Very excited for Lord Hatan to make his Mirage Comics TMNT toy line debut. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here is the barcode. Now keep in mind, they are starting to hit Target store shelves now. It's a first to market dealio for Holothon. So eventually, this will go online, much like all the other Mirage Comics toy line. You can get them online, you can find them in other stores, just a matter of months from now. But if you want them now, Target is the place to be. So, here's my question to all of you. Baxter Stockman is a fly man, isn't he? Well, that, specifically the Playmates Toys action figure version, was my first debut into the world of Baxter Stockman. Now, I did watch the cartoon as a kid which then made him a white guy, kind of a nerdy scientist Doc Brown sort of deal, got beat up by the Shredder a lot, and then he became the fly man known as Baxter Stockman. Also played the video game, which looked different, but still retained the fly. He was the evil scientist fly man, very Jeff Goldblum-ish. Now, it wasn't until much later, probably early 90s, that I happened into a pick and save, for those of you that remember that store, and found this right here for 50 cents. No joke, there was a stack of them. The graphic novel of the TMNT, which got me hooked. I got the other graphic novels, I got the other comic books, and lo and behold, to my surprise, as I was confused, Baxter Stockman was incredibly different from his toy and cartoon counterparts in that he was African-American, which I didn't understand. I didn't understand how everything kind of connected. But Baxter Stockman himself, via the Mirage comics, did create the Mousers, which, again, awesome robots in pop culture. Now, essentially, the comics version of Baxter Stockman is that he's basically a jerk, a megalomaniac, if you will, which he does try to kill April. And lo and behold, this is how we meet the TMNT with April. So, yes, he is very integral to that storyline. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from Eastman and Laird's Mirage Comics TMNT line, Baxter Stockman by NECA Toys. And while I got all you megalomaniacs here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So Baxter comes with a bunch of extra hands, finger pointing, fisted hands, mouser grabbing hands, building holding hands. Pretty well handed out. Now, he does come with this really cool old school computer. It does have kind of a little porthole in the back, perhaps if you wanted to DIY it yourself, or maybe they'll have more accessories later, but that's a total blast from the past. That's an awesome looking computer. Now, he does come with this. A lot of people, I think, are very confused as to what it is. It's a tiny scale prop replica of a building, and it comes from the Baxter Stockman issue, issue number two, where he goes on the news and telling everyone that, yes, he is going to destroy this building unless they pay him, of which he uses the mousers to dig out the ground and destroys the building, kind of harkening back to how it was represented in the initial first season of TMNT with Michelangelo, Krang, and the building of which they destroy. Now, one thing I always liked about this, though, is that Baxter Stockman, as nuts as he is, Raphael shuts this loony up. Smack! Now, if you were wondering, does he hold said building like he does in the comic book? He does. He comes with the perfect hand to do so. That's a nice throwback. Now, he does come with a mouser. It's a mouser we have seen before. There's not going to be a whole heck of a lot of difference here. It's basically the same paint job, the same articulation, 
but it's a really nice looking mouser, I have to say. I love the paint, all the little details to him, the subtle shading, it's really well done. It's the mouser I always wanted as a kid, and again, with said hands, you can treat it as a pet, and he can hold it very well. Although, I would have loved a rat, or half a rat, or a bloodied mousered head. Yeah, I want that, I'm sick. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, we have an extra head portrait for Baxter Stockman. It's kind of subtle, but it's a definite change in his expression. He has a nice gray sort of wash in his hair, the glasses, everything is painted to the nines. And with the actual Baxter Stockman figure, while it is a, a man in a sweater, they've definitely achieved Baxter Stockman here from the Mirage comics. Now, do keep in mind, when they first colorized the Mirage comics, he had red pants and then a green shirt with a lighter green collared shirt. Of course, the original Mirage comics were all in black and white, so this one hails from those new colored classics when they kind of redid it. So expect them later on, as they've done with all the other figures, to have a more original style red pants Baxter Stockman, I would imagine. Not a whole heck of a lot of difference, to be honest with you. Plenty of articulation, like I said, although I don't like the ball joints for the socks for the white part into the shoe. They're very cumbersome. Heat up the feet before you move them. That's the issue that I had with this figure through and through is having to move the feet, heat them up before you do any damage. Not much of an ab crunch. You have the waist and you have double jointed arms, the hands. And what I'm basically trying to tell you is that this is a plenty articulated action figure for the character of Baxter Stockman who stands around, makes threats on the news and gets punched out by Raphael until later when he becomes a robot. Now, in terms of the Mousers, perhaps you have collected a few between Cartoon and Mirage, and maybe other lines, but yes, sending him after the Turtles is very cool once you've built up this army. And if you were wondering, the old school NECA Toys Mirage style Turtles go more with this Baxter Stockman. It's sort of the same dealio with Splinter, although I am expecting them to do the more brown geed Splinter that was in the original graphic novels for the colors, probably a black and white version too. But like I said, yes, the Mousers all go terrific with this Splinter. But like I said, when pairing up this new Baxter Stockman with the Jim Lawson or the original Eastman and Laird's, yes, it really doesn't matter if you really want to go 100% comic book. Yeah, those two go together, but the Lawson Turtles look great as well. You do what you want. It's your collection on your shelf. But in terms of the other thus released Mirage Comics figures, Baxter will go with all of them. It's quite an amazing line. Yes, it's a bit confusing sometimes with all the colors, black and white, you get the idea. But is it fantastic? Most definitely. So that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Baxter Stockman from the NECA Toys Mirage Comics, the IDW Color Classics version. And no, if you were wondering, I did not forget the Super 7 Baxter Stockman. I just used the Playmates version because that one is more hearkening back to the nostalgia of telling my days of learning about the character a Baxter Stockman. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Baxter Stockman, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We got a lot more Mirage Comics toy line figures to check out. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 